Greetings. In the next two tutorials, I will discuss the commonly asked issue of dynamic assertions on ACL. What this is, is the dynamic permission on a certain resource, and uh, not resource in that framework speaking, as in controller or action, but a resource as in you know, some kind of object in your program, for example, comments. So you want only the original author of the comment to edit that comment. So for example, if I posted a comment for one of these books and I go back to it later, I should be the only one able to add that comment, nobody else. Everybody else can just view it but not edit it. While at the same time I can edit mine only and view everybody else's. So this is something that you would obviously use a lot in the forums, for example. Before I go into the ACL aspect of it, I'm going to have to do some major modification to my uh, existing application. The reason why we cannot jump into the dynamic ACL assertions right now is that the checks whether the user is allowed to edit the comment or not are going to be quite a PHP heavy and since the comment is actually a part of the view at the moment if we jump into ACL assertions right now we are going to have a lot of PHP code in our view and we do not want that. Now, we don't want that for two obvious reasons well one maybe not so obvious. But the first one of course we don't want uh, PHP code in our view for to be able to comply to the MVC structure. Another reason is for this to be able to work on Ajax as well, because remember Ajax skips the rendering of the view scripts, it just picks up the variables. So uh, in that case we want to make sure it is fully secured and, uh, and the resources for which the user has no permissions do not have any chance of entering the view. So basically we are going to make sure that the user has appropriate permission to the resource before the variable data is going to hit the view at all. So if that sounds confusing, uh, what we are doing is adjusting the model so that it returns a set of data that is only appropriate for the particular user. If this was confusing, I will hopefully clear this up as I create the code. So the goal is to have the user able to edit the comments that are going to be posted for each book. So first up we're going to create a facility where we pull the comments together with overall book information. And in a way that the view gets the fully processed results. So we're going to create a dedicated model that gets all of the book data. Not only that, to simplify the code we are going to make each book a separate object. So we will create a class for a book and then each book is going to be a separate instance of that class. That way we can easily manipulate any book in any way and we are not restricted by the linear set of functions the way we have in our current view. So right now we have this for each loop that, sci that cycles through the books array and it's uh, very linear, there is not much I can do with this. So uh, what instead I'm going to move the entire book generation process from the controller because at the moment it's doing a little bit too much I'm going to move just about all of this from here into a separate model and we're going to add some extra properties and methods so that we can have a fully functional book. Alright, so it's time for me to stop bubbling and I'm going to actually show what I'm talking about. So the first model I will create is for the book itself. Mm, 
it's going to be called book.php and it's going to have a class library since in the library module model because it's a model and book because that's what they called it okay so this book or any book is going to have a couple of properties about it the first one is of course it's id so the program always knows what it's working with it's going to have a title it's going to have an author and it's going to have an array of comments array because there is more than one uh, just to give you a heads up on what that will look like uh, I have created the book comments table that has the comment linked to the book ID and the user ID now we're going to uh, create a construct which is going to be used to set the books ID and now I'm going to create a bunch of setters and get the methods for uh, each of these uh, properties so public function add title remember it's always a bad idea to directly edit the properties you either use a manual get a setter or you use a magic get a and setter in this case I am doing them manually because I get more control this way as some of these uh, getters are unique to how they work especially the comment one so it's never a bad idea to take the time and create a method for each of your properties okay and comments okay Got to make sure I don't have any typos. And perhaps another good reason to have a separate method for each is because it looks neater on the file that calls for them. It looks a bit more English. Okay, and now for the last one, which is a tricky one. And the reason why it's tricky is because this is where our assertions are going to take place so basically instead of having a massive if statement in our view I am going to uh, get all, all of that taken care of in this model and because I'm not ready for the ACL part yet I'm going to let any user edit the comment now I don't actually have the edit form prepared so this example is pretty hypothetical uh, but it basically to display the comment and provide the URL for the hypothetical edit form